Hey, what's up? And closed beta has started for EverQuest Landmark. And uh, so I have a new claim. And been building new stuff. I went through. I upgraded my pick as far as I can go. My axe as far as I can go. There's a couple of materials. Tier 6 ones, I think, that aren't in the game yet. Uh, but uh, as soon as they are, I should be set to get them unless they do another wipe. Uh, but that's the way it goes when the game's still under development. Um, but I thought I'd show off what I'm doing. Uh, like, this is just my little work area. I actually have... And I can do that. A claim plus two add-ons, which seems to be the maximum right at the moment. This is the my claim right here, the center one. And I added a piece on over here. And then I... I added a piece on up there, which you can see I built a structure already. So, let's go take a look at that. Because uh, it's turning out pretty well, I thought. And, basically just a building. It's kind of actually going to be like an office building as opposed to a house. And house. A house. <laughs> ah, English. Do I even English? I don't even know. <laughs> uh... So, yeah, as you can see, my habit is still to jump on things, but, yeah, I'm a little porch, walk up here. I have a little cellar, too. Decorated it a little bit, a little wash basin. A little, put a well, see, I put a well in here because, like, everything, you have to have a little secret room in the house. And there's nothing here yet, but, you know, there will be, eventually. And let's get out of here with the help of my grappling hook. And so, yeah, as you can see, I started decorating with props. And I'll take a quick look from the outside. I added windows just so more natural light gets in. Not that it's too much of an issue. And, woo. actually, let me show you where I'm located. This is Serenity Fjord, Fjord. <laughs> and uh, well, pretty much straight south, just a little bit over to the uh, the west there. And whoo, hop out of that. I like this brickwork. Like, I mean, it looks slightly like brick, but worn out. It's a nice look. That is, what is that? It's under stone. There it is. Plastered wall. That's what it is. And, oh, yeah, my railings. These, I basically did Tetris pieces. Like, it was like one piece there. Uh, I think it was one, 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 one. You know, like the squiggly shape one. And then I uh, smoothed it out a little bit. And then I just kind of pasted it together. And then I went through and added the... Uh, wood on top. Okay, but let's zoom out. Mailbox, and it's functional. Not that I have mail yet, but if I were to get mail, that would that would be where it is. Okay, door. Main entryway, there's nothing really here. Uh, when the sun is uh, over there setting, it shines right through. It's pretty neat. Okay, and this is, you know, I made like just a sitting area essentially. I want to add a few more decorations. Put some paintings up just to give it a little more uh, color. And we can take a look at the windows. There's not much to see because it's hill. Well, that's kind of neat. And over here, I started to make almost like a spiral staircase. I actually built it outside, and then cut it and pasted it in here, and then kind of modded it a little bit. This is, it will be like a storeroom, and then, you know, with the stairs going up. And then windows, just so you can see other directions. And then I got fire out here. It's I actually built a little thing around it. Nothing impressive, but, you know, just enough to make it... Uh, you know, look like something besides just the prop. <laughs> I think I need to touch it up a little bit. 
And this is the porch-like area. I was thinking of building some custom benches. Where, you know, I just build it with the materials, smooth it out. And then, you know, sit it up here. Uh, there's nothing really bench-like, I guess, as a prop. But yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, this area, basically this whole top claim area, will be just a couple random buildings. Like, I'm going to build a custom room for a forge, and apparently I put a stray brick over here. <laughs> that was odd. Let's heal that. I think there's... yeah. Okay. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so like up here, the be that, I'm going to build like uh, a covered area for the forge and maybe for some of the other crafting stations. Uh, this center area, I'm going to make kind of like a tower, but it's going to be almost like a, in design, it'll be kind of like a air traffic control tower almost, because over here, the claim that's here on the hill, I'm actually going to have a platform going up and then I'm going to attempt this is an attempt. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. <laughs> to make a uh, airship. Let's see how well that goes. I'm expecting some frustration, but it's all in good fun, so it shouldn't be too bad. Even if it looks horrible, then, you know, I'm sure I'll be able to live with that. But yeah, it's pretty neat. I'm liking this game more and more. And, uh, just, you know, you start with really basic things. Like this, I, I, bu I built the basement, and then I just using the selection tool what I would do is you know on the platform I built for the basement I would just you know go like that you know I would just make a, gi a giant block and then just fill it and uh, and then what I would do is I would carve out the room on the inside so essentially what I did here which you'll be able to see once I get up here wait probably noticed before I basically made this one big block, this huge long block, and then a smaller block here. And then I just fancied it up, slow, little by little, you know, I added the roof. Like in here I added two floors, and then um, I turned them into rooms, I added the windows. And it eventually started to look kind of neat. And it just, everything is just a series of baby steps, and as you work through it, uh, you start to learn the tools, you just kind of make things look nice and professional looking just by doing little itty bitty things here and there just to mess with it, just to test it. Like there's still a few things I gotta work on and like for example here I think I have to unsmooth it just so it doesn't stretch like that which uh, I'll have to do at some point. I think it means taking out some of the corner here and then replacing it with non-smooth block. I think there's a couple spots where it does that. But that's something I'll do later on. Um, I'll take a quick look up here. Just um, I have a friend who put a claim like right up here. We were going to try and build it right next to each other, make like a village, but uh, I'm not exactly sure how to do that. So he wound up putting it up here on the top of the hill. And I know he, was car he had a hole carved out in kind of like a moat. Let's see uh, where it is right now. And it should be up here. Here it is. Okay, so it's just carved out. Looks like it goes around most of the way. And then he has, <laughs> that's where his forge is. <clears throat> and he just has a whole dugout at the moment. Oh, he has a second crafting station up. Oh, that's actually... Uh, yeah, it's one of the last ones, actually. So he skipped a couple. That's good, though, because once he has this, he can make the other crafting stations. Okay. And that's that. Let's take another quick look at my place from the mountain up here. Yeah, I purposely put my claim between two biomes, and it turned out that I'm right next to, for as far as wood is concerned anyway, right next to the first tier and then the last tier that you can get. 
well, not the last year, but the last one you need anyway for what you can craft currently. Because Tundra has the spindles, I think, spindle cones. And you need that to make some of the more advanced wood. And then this, the, this is actually tropical, has uh, the palm trees. And the palm trees are used for the palm hearts so you can make some of the lower tier items. And there it is, the house. I can actually see the fire from here. Pretty cool. I just wanted to show that off real quick. And until next time.